And here's what I want to do to fix it. It's a new day in the political life in the Bahamas. What that also means is God is grooming someone somewhere who will emerge out of obscurity and There is a shepherd boy somewhere. There is a shepherd boy somewhere that God has his hand upon who will come to the kingdom As Esther says, for such a time as this. It's a very interesting time. It's going to be difficult to function in leadership in this new generation without the anointing of God. The times that we are in now, we need the Holy Ghost to help us in this season that we're in. Intellect alone will not be enough. Your training, your skill, will not be enough to give you the victory. We need the anointing of God. It is time to fast and pray. Because what we have been able to get away with in the past as Christians, as believers, we will not be able to get away with it again. If you and I think that we can stop the devil's agenda and not have any repercussion, You think we can stop the advancement of Satan's agenda, the church I'm talking about, and have no repercussions? <laughs> Listen, in the coming weeks, you will see pastors exposed. Judgment will begin in the house of the Lord. You will begin to see what some pastors and bishops and apostles have been able to hide You can't hide anymore. My God. Listen, I'm prophesying today. In the coming weeks, you will see religious leaders exposed. Sweetheart, hmm. homosexual pastors. social media will expose them. Those who I'm prophesying today hear the word from the Lord. Those who have 
been able to have a public ministry in a cloth and, and a closet lifestyle. My God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. A bishop. Huh? Yeah. But homosexual yeah. in the dark. Yeah. After church. Yeah. Apostle. But pornography addiction. Get ready. Get ready. Because you are not going to delay Satan's agenda and not have the price to pay. In the coming weeks, you will begin to say, well, you hear about Bishop, he got caught. Forced to resign. His secret life. You can't dance with the devil. Huh? And then preach with the angels. We are living in a serious time. And so, when you see people beating their chest, oh, the church prevailed. The church prevailed. Let the church be the church. He that is holy, who is named the name of Jesus, it is time to live that. Amen. Are you with me? We have to be pure in heart. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. It is what? The pure in heart. The pure in heart. Sometimes words can take you where your heart condition cannot keep you. You can argue, you can defend, we can expose, huh? Yeah. Our intellect, our ability to argue and decipher and define and extrapolate and suggest yeah. and expose. Then you go home and sip in your know, brandy. Hmm. Yes. And say, wow, that was an excellent presentation. And before you go to bed, you got your little porn yes. that you need to you need to watch so you could sleep well. It is time. It's high time. Those who are named the name of Jesus hear the word from the Lord. We have to repent. That's the last chance. Because many will be exposed. Many hear this 
many preachers will not be able to preach again. Many will be disgraced because the devil has this agenda. You cannot dance with him and oppose him at the same time. Remember the seven sons of Sceva? They wanted to play both sides. Holy and unholy. Righteous and unrighteous. Light and darkness. And said so glory to God in the highest. Huh? And just dash from this Vida house. Right in time to preach. <laughs> Had to drop off something to the outside child that nobody know about. The light faster. If we are the light, it's time to shine. The fake lights will be exposed. Wanted to deliver that so that we can know what's happening in the spirit. Things have shifted. Yes. Things have changed. And you and I will see the backlash from hell. This agenda will not simply end. To say, well, oh, it ain't well. There is a price to pay. So those who are named the name of Jesus. It's time for us to live the life. It is time for us to live the life. Amen. It's time to live that life. Because the Bible says, evil shall slay the wicked. But some of us, the grace has supported us in wickedness, in evil, the mercy of God. It's time, it is time. And write this down, we will see in the coming weeks. This one, next pastor. Next one in child pornography. Next one. Which one? Next one. It's time to pray. I'd like to continue for a few minutes our discussion. Only what? Believe. The biggest problem in the church.